In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you what Evernote should be used for. Hello and welcome to episode 62 of my Working with Evernote series. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about what you should be using Evernote for and what you shouldn't be using Evernote for. And I've got to credit Richmond Nash for his wonderful blog post that he wrote last week about this very subject. And I get a lot of questions about Evernote on this channel about using Evernote in specific cases where, to be really honest, Evernote isn't very good at doing that. So let me just cover the things that Evernote can do. Evernote can work as a word processor. In fact, actually, Evernote is pretty good as a word processor. But you've got to remember that Evernote was not designed as a full-blown word processor. Now, I'm going to be careful here because I know a lot of people will write blog posts in Evernote. And to be perfectly honest, although my system for writing my blog posts are a little bit different, I, if I wasn't using Scrivener, which is how I create my blog posts, I would most definitely probably use Evernote because it is actually pretty good for that kind of note. However, if you're writing a document that needs a fair amount of formatting, then Evernote is not going to do that very well. In which case, a formatted document like a, a professional report, that really needs to be done in either Microsoft Word, Google Docs or Apple's pages. You don't really want to be using Evernote for creating professional quality documents that need a lot of formatting. Another one that Evernote is can do, it can use a presentation mode. You can go into presentation mode with Evernote. But once again, actually to be perfectly honest, Evernote really does suck at presentations. It's not a presentation tool. The reason the presentation function is in Evernote is so that you can show your notes to a group of people on a big screen. It wasn't designed for you to do full-blown presentations. It isn't that kind of tool. Always remember Evernote is a note-taking application and as a note-taking application Evernote does a fantastic job and really why would you want to use Evernote as a presentation tool when you've got products, free products like Google Slides is a free application. Apple's Keynote these days is free, I believe, if you buy that now or if you buy any iOS device. And you can use the online version of Microsoft PowerPoint for free. Why would you want to do presentations in Evernote? Okay, another one that Evernote is particularly good at is uh, you can store pretty much any kind of document in Evernote. But as a, a full-blown document storage system, Evernote sucks. It isn't designed to store all your Microsoft Office files, all your Apple iWorks files or Google Docs or stuff like that. It isn't designed for that. It's designed maybe to hold the occasional file, but it isn't a full-blown file storage system. Once again, we go back to this. You can get like 25 gigabytes, I think it is, on Google Drive for free. Um, why are you using Evernote to store documents when you've got so many free services out there which are proper document storage systems? So if you're using Evernote as a storage system, forget it, it's not designed for that. Remember, Evernote is a digital notebook. So think of it like how you would have created a physical notebook. You know, you might store scraps of paper in there, you might put a few pictures in there, but you were never going to start filing in big reports and stuff like that. It's not designed for that. One final one on this is Evernote will be, could or has the potential to be a to-do list manager. 
But once again, I'm going to go back to the question, why would you use Evernote as a to-do list manager? Yes, of course it will do it, but its functionality is not particularly very good. When there are so many tools out there like Todoist, Trello, Asana, OmniFocus, why would you want to use Evernote as a to-do list manager? It's not designed as a to-do list manager, it's got the functionality, but it doesn't have the same functionality that something like Todoist would have. You really need to be using the tools for the jobs that they were designed to do. Evernote is brilliant as a note taker. Evernote is brilliant at capturing photos of things like where you've parked your car as a temporary photo so you know where to go looking for your car when you come back to look for it. But it isn't designed as a presentation tool. It's not designed as a document storage system and it's not designed as a to-do list manager. And once you get that out of your head and you start using Evernote for what it really is meant to be, you are gonna have a much better relationship with Evernote. Okay, I just wanted to get that off my chest because I've seen so many questions this week. Richmond has won written a wonderful blog article about that and I'll put that in the notes section below. And Please guys, just try to remember, use the tools that you have for the job they were designed to do and you'll have a much better experience. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please guys, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel um, because the more subscribers we have, the more people we can help and we get further up in the YouTube rankings. Also, please, if you like this video, please just click the like, just click the like button down below. It really does help me and it really shows that you, I'm doing what you want me to do, which is to give you as much information and much advice as I can about using Evernote. Once again, thank you very much for watching this episode. I wish you all a very, very productive week and I will see you in the next episode.